Hey guys, standing next to me is Big Rich. He's a pro staff member with AA Soft Plastics. Hey Big Rich, thanks for having us out today. How's it going? No problem. So today you want to talk to us a little bit about rigging these soft plastics for lean cut fishing, huh? Yes. Okay. The, uh, the reverse dropper loop is one of my favorite ways to do it. Uh, the weight is small right now, but you're going to do the weight according to the current and the depth you're fishing. You can go down to as heavy as uh, eight ounces. I always try to keep the lead head a little lighter. I don't, want, I don't want that thing just dragging in the dirt or the rocks. I want to keep it up a little bit while the weight is just bouncing long. This is up a little bit. So if I was going to use that with my um, B-52 um, bucktails, the, the new HD models, would I go all the way down to a one ounce because we have those big eight out hooks on Yes, there? I would go down to a one ounce just to keep it up when the boat's dragging, mm -hmm. keep it up off the ground a little bit. All right, so that way the sinker just kind of bounce off the rocks and the hook will be up off it. Yes, and, and, and it, sometimes that disturbance in the front with the weight, mm -hmm. it'll get that fish to look over that way and see what's going on. And once he sees it, mm. he's got to eat it. And I bet you a bunch of times you've had um, teeth marks on those sinkers. Because <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had that happen to yeah. me, lean cod fish. Oh, yeah. Every now and then you get, they like, I thought I got bit. But you look at the weight. Yeah, and there's teeth marks and on it. And there's teeth marks on it. Yeah. I did get bit. <laughs> yeah. But they weren't on the jail. All right, cool. So then your suggestion is a re reverse dropper loop rig and the sinker anywhere from something light like that, like four ounces, all the way up to maybe eight or 10, 16 Eight or 10 ounces. ounces, yes. It depends on the current and how fast the boat is moving. And now with the new regulations where you can fish down to 400 feet, would you think about going 16 ounces and go down to 400 feet or go down to 12 ounces or something like that to get all down that deep? Yeah, I'll probably go down to 10 or 12. Okay. That'd be probably ideal. That way the thing is still moving nice. Mm -hmm. I usually try to go as light as possible. Okay. That's my theory, light as possible. Mm. But sometimes you can't do that. You just have to go down because the current is pushing too fast and you have to get down there. Because if you're not yeah. down there, can't, not, get bit. can't get bit. <laughs> yeah, they're called rockfish for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I like the idea too because not only are you going to catch slings, you might catch a big salmon grouper, a big red. Yes. I mean, all those big fish down there like that big bait. Yeah, a variety of uh, fish love that bait. And we also love throwing our uh, double A. Swim baits. Swim baits. This is a, a newer swim bait. The bubber shad, it's, it's a little thicker. Okay. So the lean cod can't tear it up as easy. Okay. Yeah, but I would still trade one of those for a 20, 30 pound lean cod. Oh yeah. That'd be fine. <laughs> All day long. Now, what I always tell people to do too, I don't know if you do, if you do this at home or when you go fishing, I always tell them to glue it on. Oh, that's definitely, yeah. definitely got to glue it on because sometimes they'll short bite you and pull the thing straight off. The tail off. The tail off, and it's no good after that. Right. So always glue it on. Always glue it on. Just crazy glue. Crazy glue. I mean, a couple of dabs will do you. Mm -hmm. That's it. And before you slide them on, they sell a little tube that you can use to make a hole at the end of the tail, and it makes a big difference. Use that little tube, make that opening hole, and it'll slide the hook on there really good. Use the glue to finish it, and you're all yes. set. Yes, and the tube actually helps so the bait doesn't tear right here because okay. you're taking out the plastic out the way of the hook. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. All right, man. Well, thanks for the tip. Thank you. All right. That's today's little video blog. We're going to do a few more of these. So uh, keep looking for these every week on our YouTube channel here. For more information, just click right here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have more questions, leave your comments down below and one of us will get back to you and answer your questions. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.